والله يدعو الى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء الى صراط مستقيم اوكي جزاك الله خير استاذ ام جبريل ده فروم كندا اوكي اب جوت ا كويشن هير فروم برذر مكتسب فروم بحرين شيخ Now remember, he's our eight-year-old viewer, mashallah, who called in. Um, he's asking a very sincere question, Sheikh. Um, when does he have to start fasting? That's a very good question. Whenever we say uh, the verb have, that means it is mandatory. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Where if you do it, you will be rewarded for it, and if you skip it, you will be punished uh, as long as you skip it without a valid reason. Uh, all the acts of worship and uh, religious activities become mandatory once uh, the child, he or she, reaches the puberty age. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said in the hadith, al-qalam an thalath. The pen that records our deeds has been lifted up and does not record the deeds of three people. And he mentioned one of them was sabiyyi hatta yablaw. And the young boy, and according to the young girl, until he or she reaches the puberty age. But it doesn't mean that you wait until you reach the puberty age, then all of a sudden you decide to fast or to pray. Because the Prophet ﷺ said, instruct your children as how to pray at the age of seven. Then discipline them if they skip the prayer at the age of ten. Mm-hmm. This is very necessary and very important. The process of the gradation in teaching and implementing Uh, and instructing our youth to perform the ibadat or otherwise there was one person who was at the age of 40 said it's impossible for me to fast he said why he said because i've never fasted in my life i can't i can't stop eating drinking for eight hours 10 hours let alone 15 hours so that's why it is so beautiful the teachings of the prophet there is a very interesting fact also mm-hmm. when we say that it is not mandatory to observe the religious activities before the puberty age. It doesn't mean that these are uh, in vain if you do them. No. If you do them in addition to practicing them, you receive a reward for it. And mm-hmm. if you skip them, there is no punishment because you're not uh, accountable until uh, you reach the puberty age. So it is highly recommended one should start as early as possible. And I have seen uh, kids at the age of four started fasting half day, five started fasting a whole day, then six fasted the entire month, and that is in America. By practice and exercise, uh, if one wants to show some flexibility in his or her body, they start practicing at an early age, then they can bend all over. Similarly, if one wants to uh, have uh, an easy way to practice the ibadat, you should start as early as possible. Keep it in mind that whatever you do, uh, meaning that Allah would not waste the reward of your good deeds, even if they were done before uh, the puberty age, or if you're not mukallaf, in another word. There is another thing I want to indicate. If, mm-hmm. if one is performing, if one is uh, not fasting, then he or she experienced any of the signs of the puberty during the day of Ramadan, even though it is not uh, Fajr or before Fajr, then they must resume fasting right away. So this is when it becomes mandatory. And if one is started as voluntary, it turns to become mandatory because he or she have reached the puberty age at this time. If a young boy or young girl perform, were performing Hajj with their uh, family, then on the day of Arafah or a day before, they experience the signs of the puberty age. If a girl uh, starts seeing uh, al-hayd or the menses, then even though she's not going to perform tough until she's cleaned up, but standing on the day of Arafah for her would count as hajjatul islam. So basically, uh, and in the brief answer to this question, the ibadat are not mandatory upon uh, a Muslim until he or she reach the puberty age. But one must start practicing as early as possible.